So this is my garden this year. I've got a zillion raspberries, as you can see. And they're all coming up really good, and they're really tasty. And over here, we have some basil, which is what it says there, and that's it. And it's really small right now. It's only like about three inches high. Over here, I've planted artichokes along the line, and I found out that some artichokes come up this year and some don't. And I plan I got a package with two different kinds in it. So this one is the first artichoke that sort of came up, and it's the biggest one. And it's about wow, it's about seven or eight inches tall now. Um, and those other grass spots are where the ones will come up next year are. There's another one that came up this year. And then there's one there and one there. They're kind of smaller. These are strawberry plants. Um, I transplanted those out of my friend's garden into here. There's one over here too. And um, they work great, but the uh, problem is the animals ate all the strawberries before I could. There's another bunch of basil that I planted down there. Um, that one grew up faster than that one over there, and I don't really know why, but who cares. Um, this is my oregano bush that last year was was only about four inches tall at the most. This year it's, it's three feet tall, and it's getting flowers on it, and they're attracting a lot of butterflies. Um, and... Uh, it lasted all through the year. Everything else died out except some weeds along the, the fences and stuff, but this lasted all through the year and I was eating oregano, fresh oregano, all through the year. It's the first time in the history of Vermont that I've ever seen any greenery last through the entire year that wasn't like an evergreen tree or something. So, you know, that's... There's another example of global warming, but that's a pretty amazing plant because it's the first plant in Vermont that I ever saw that actually lasted through a Vermont winter, and I don't think they're supposed to, or at least in the past they weren't. Um, and over here, I've got a bunch of different things like good and ugly tomatoes growing up. Got to step carefully so I can show you the other side of this. Good and ugly tomatoes are along that line, and that's probably that might be one right there. It's hard to tell before they really come up. I think that's another one mixed with grass and some others. And then I've got cherry bomb peppers, and that might be one. They're seven on the hotness scale, and they're really good. They look like um, red things about the size of a half dollar circular. And this one is sweet red pepper, and that might be one right there. Um, that might be another one over there. And back here, I think there's a whole bunch of them that have just decided to come up. And then we're back to the other side. There's my great purple chair. There's a wind thing. And what was I going to say? Oh, right. There's the scarecrow I made. They drive away all the crows. I haven't been any crows here, but they've been every other kind of animal. There goes one of the butterflies. It's always hanging out on that bush over there. And as soon as those tomatoes come up, I'll probably take that thing, which is my automatic tomato hanger, put it over there, and hang the tomatoes automatically from it. And all along the fence here, I've planted more raspberry seeds. So next year, there'll probably be this all over there and there. Plus, my friend is giving me a lot of raspberry bushes if I want them. So there's my garden. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah, it's all done in Vermont, too, organically. Um, cost me, let me see, how much did it cost me? $1.99 for the basil seeds. Two years ago, $1.99 for the oregano seeds, and $1.99 for the artichokes. So this entire garden cost me $6, and I've been eating fresh oregano, basil, and raspberries for two years. Oh, and I, I had the artichokes, but I did, never got around to eating them last year, although I could have. And that alone is probably, I don't know, $8 a pound for raspberries. Must have had thousands of raspberries. 
um, fresh oregano, if you could even get it, it's probably like, you know, two or three dollars for just like ten leaves or something. I, you know, it's it's astonishing. With a little dirt and a couple of dollars worth of seeds, you can essentially feed yourself. And um, it's all organic, so you don't get the chemicals. It's fun. It, it's actually a lot of fun. And, um, you know, the stuff all of the old people used to tell us is absolutely true. I hate to sound like an old person, but this is a lot of fun. It saves you money. It's healthy for you. Gives you a little exercise. Cost me less than six dollars.